Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix Robo Bench video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education, and we're going to talk some more about um, what seems to be our favorite subject here lately, and that's the way to integrate the uh, Tetrix Max system with the Tetrix Prime system, and the way they go together. We've already talked a little bit about uh, structurally putting the pieces together. We've talked about the motors and the way that they can be mounted together. We're going to talk now about a little bit of gears and wheels because that's going to be an important uh, component that we can add to as well. And the key to this is going to be um, the bushing sizes that we use because um, the um, we know already that the uh, large hole size for both the prime elements and the max elements is the same size. So the difference between these is going to be the bushings that we use. Prime has a larger interior diameter on their bushings for the larger prime axle where the max bushings has a smaller ID in interior diameter for the Tetrix max um, axles. So that's going to be the key when you start combining these and the idea is that if we use the larger prime axles we use the prime bushings and you'll see they go right into um, the max channel. And if we're going to use the max on uh, either the prime or the max channel, then we use the max bushings and the smaller max axles will go right in as well. Now, the cool thing is that when you do that, the, um, the actual gears themselves, the prime and the max, are the same size so that they will mesh uh, perfectly as far as the gear um, tooth uh, alignment and regardless of whether you're using um, the different sizes you can see I've got 120 um, tooth max gear and the 40 tooth prime um, gear and I can put those on so when I put the little right bushing I can put that on prime element and then if I put the corresponding um, prime bushing on there I will um, you can see I can get that alignment and they mesh perfectly. So you can see that um, when we do that, you get uh, a good alignment and you can integrate the two, the um, prime or the max gears perfectly. And that works with all the different sizes. So we can change the size um, to the uh, 40 tooth and the 80 tooth and they match right up. And that'll work as well on the max channel. Now the same thing applies that we had to gears to wheels. So we can take uh, a prime wheel, we can put the axle on it as long as we put the actual correct bushing and it'll go right into the max channel. So you can see it works exactly the same way and um, the, the same would apply to the actual uh, max wheel. We can take uh, the prime axle with the max motor mount hub and we can go ahead and mount that up just like we normally would in um, the MAX system. Snap that in there just like that. And then if we use the, um, the Prime, and what I'm doing here is to make the spacing correct, I'm using the little Delron um, bushing that we make for MAX. I'm putting the bushing and axle on that. And then when I put that together, you can see that I can mount that directly to the Prime beam. So I can use the MAX wheels on the prime beams and I can use the um, actual prime wheels on the max channel. So you can see they work back and forth just fine and you can use them together. So hopefully that gives you some more tips and information and inspiration and good luck building those robots and come back and see us.